Hello, welcome to Coco's Crochet. This is Coco and I'm Litsa and we'd like to say welcome to our podcast number five. Coco, as usual, is ready for a little rest. I'm going to pop her down. Thank you so much for joining us. She'll just be a moment. Today, I just want to talk to you about all the makes that I've got together that I've started for the night markets. But before we begin that, I just wanted to show you that I actually did make a scrunchie out of the Jolly and Joy yarn. And it actually turned out very beautiful. Well, I think so. And the great thing about it is that it doesn't get stuck in your hair, not at all. When you put it in, it doesn't hurt you at all. When you pull it out, it doesn't. And it really does look um, very um, sparkly when it's on. The way I made it is I used two strands of yarn, which is the way that I've made all the scrunchies that I'm going to show you. So I've used the Jolly and Joy in the pink, for example. And with that... For those of you that haven't seen this yarn before, it is a sequin yarn, so it is a novelty yarn, and it has one strand made up of one strand of sequin and one strand of um, yarn, uh, acrylic type yarn. And then I've got just your normal everyday DK, which is an eight ply yarn or a number three, I believe it is. And then I simply put them together, hold them together, I should say. And then I make a scrunchie. And the way that I do that, or a hair tie, I'm not sure exactly what everyone's calling them, but I'm so used to calling them scrunchies. So I basically just use uh, everyday hair elastic. And I've tried to get one that um, doesn't have the little metal bit. And with a five millimeter hook, I've been um, doing single crochets all the way around. On average for this size band, it's been around 38 um, single crochets but remember depending on the size of your band if it's a bigger one or a smaller one you can just vary it as long as when you stretch it out you don't see much of the inside of the band so when you've done that first row then you simply do um, two double crochet or in U, um, S term or treble crochet in UK term in each single crochet you do two double crochet and then for the third and final row if you want that to be your final row then you do three double crochet or trebles into each and every um, double crochet and then that's how you get that beautiful wavy effect now on some of them not these ones obviously but I will show you my wreath of <laughs> scrunchies this is just a small sample of all the different ones that i've been making and on some of them i've made them really quite simple and i've just put you know the glitter yarn i've just added a little um row of just single crochet across the top and some others to pretty them up i've just used a simple um color and then i've put a like a stripy yarn or a variegated yarn on top and some I've just left very, very simple with just two strands of yarn, one being the colour and one being the white. And I've tried to create some sort of variety for everybody to choose from. And I am obviously going to be adding more. But just to show you the different layers, I thought I'd use this one because it starts off with your single crochet all the way across. Then you've got your one row of the two double into each single. And then the three double into each single I uh, beg your pardon double and then on the top i've just added another single crochet row i think this is a very pretty one personally and the reason why i've been using two strands of yarn is because i like to make them um, so that they're not too stiff where they're awkward to wear but definitely stiff enough to hold their shape so that you can actually wear them around your wrist as well because that's what I tend to do all day and I've seen a lot of people do that and then when I need it then I pop it in my hair and I take it back off so it is almost like a decorative um, like a, a little like it's for decoration as well and it does pretty up your hair and the one thing that I absolutely love about using these in my hair I don't get a headache when I'm using them whereas if I just use a tie on its own I don't know maybe I you know loop put it around my hair too much and then it, I have it too tight and I do get a headache from it generally 
So these are a, be uh, a beautiful um, way to put your hair up and also eliminate the headaches, which has been great. So that's one thing that I've made. I did try them using this um, velvet yarn that I had left over from a blanket that I made. It's quite thin. And the, the result was this. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, they feel beautiful, but and they still sit okay and they do sit pretty in the hair maybe they need something around the top i haven't really decided whether i'm going to go ahead with this one or not but i thought i'd experiment while i had a little piece um, of the yarn left over so that's um they're the scrunchies that i've been making and then the other things that i decided to make um were the headbands and I did use, um, so with the scrunchies, there are so many um, YouTube tutorials that you could go to, and they're all very, very similar. I believe I used Repeat Crafter Me. She did a beautiful job, and um, I'll try to link it down below for you. Now, with these headbands, I've started making them in two different sizes. And I have been using um, cotton and acrylic blend yarn for this. And I have been using a four and a half millimeter hook. Um, and why I'm doing the two different um, widths is because I have been getting a lot of re uh, requests from just my own family for the different widths now most of these and i have tried to do them generally this size because it is um the size that fits most um uh heads for example adults teenagers and young children and if i want to i might make a few smaller ones for the younger children but this is the most popular size and it's actually 18 inches and you simply just crochet the strip and then you fold it over you join it together on the inside and then it makes a beautiful join on that side and you pop it on and they really are very pretty i mean i should pop one in my hair i'll probably do that before the end but let's see how we go um, and i am um, hoping to make quite a few of these i've got maybe five or six different colors in natural and yellow and i've got i think a pink and a mauve um, and white my, I think will be very popular so all those colors that I've got and I might have a few different ones I'll try to make two of each one in each thickness and um, let's see how we go with that so for now I'm very happy with these I use um, and I will link it down below the creative grammar um, tutorial for this and it's very quick and easy and she explains it beautifully it's basically just um, a chain of uh, I think eight or twelve depending on the size you want and then it's single crochets and chains, the whole thing, that's all it is. So, you know, you can be watching either the tutorial or a movie and you can make a couple in no time, which is wonderful. And then sticking to the hair theme, I thought, oh, what would be something else that, you know, I, f I think would be popular? And I just made these head warmers or twisted headbands. I think I could have made, a, made them possibly a little bit thicker on the side and I might make some a little bit thicker, but I just thought, you know, this is a nice size. I'm just using all my leftover acrylic but thicker yarn. So this is probably something that they would enjoy more so in the cooler months. And this is just such a simple idea. All you do is just crochet your strip this one was um so basically what i do sorry i actually when i start the chain i put it around my head like that and i get a gauge of how you know um long it should be i have made a couple of smaller ones and a couple of bigger ones and then you quite simply just in each and every chain do a double crochet uh beg your pardon a half double crochet and then when you get to the end of that row, at when you turn it, you go in the back loop and you continue with your half double crochets as to make it as wide as you want. You can actually make it a lot wider than I have if you choose to or even thinner. But I found that this was um, a size that I felt would be very nice. And I've just, you know, made quite a few that way. And when you cast off, you just leave a long tail and then you use that to sew it all together and just very very quickly it's so simple to do so you just pinch your two ends together 
and then slide them in between each other like that, like you almost sandwich it in. And then with your yarn and your darning needle, you sew it together and then you flip it over and it makes the twist in it. So it's a very nice project that you can just sit down and relax and do it. I've actually got a bag full somewhere. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I've got about 10 ready to go. So um, all I need to do now is basically, oops, um, sew them together. So I will be doing that all in one go. I just find that it's easier for me to just get my head around the crochet bit and then the sewing bit and then we're done. So that's what I've been busy doing and I have enjoyed all of these projects. Um, I have to say that um, going on YouTube was um, so easy to find all the patterns that you need and not at all overwhelming. The only overwhelming part was that there are so many more patterns that I would have liked to make but as I am limited for time I have to be a realist and I just thought you know okay we can do these three um, different ideas for the hair. I have looked at little hair clips and things like that but I think I'll just have to say no for now stop myself and just continue uh, making as many of these as I can. I'm hoping to maybe at least double my inventory my stock that would be amazing so i will be working hard on these but i would like to continue also with the little scrubbies that i was making and what else did i have oh the stars so yes i will continue with those and if anything else comes up i'll let you know definitely um you know as if i do you know make anything else so i'll just pop this up here now the other thing I would like to show, like to share with you, is one of my most, excuse me, I've got it over here, and I do apologize for my lack of technology skills, but I did say that I will work on them, but that hasn't happened yet, so I do apologize. Um, one of our, um, our Yarny friends, uh, crochet friends, um, sent me um, a beautiful email, and I you know i was hoping that she would share some of her makes with us and she has her name is maribel or mary bell and i'm so sorry if i've said your name wrong but her work is spectacular and i just wanted to share it with you as well so this one she says that this pattern is by selena veronique crochet on youtube and she calls it the polina shawl and the yarn used was Big Twist. And here's another little photo of it as well, the back view. So beautiful. And then she also sent me a photo of this one. And she says that this one is using the same concept as the Polina shawl, but with her own twist on it. How wonderful is that? And look at it in all its glory. <laughs> That is so beautiful. A lot of work would have gone into those. And this is gorgeous. This is a pumpkin hat. Oops, how about there? That's a little bit better. Look at all that. That looks so cute. Um, and she followed Butterfly Dreamer Crochet. And she used I Love This Cotton by Yarn Bee. Be it's actually beautiful. And then she has this beautiful bag. And I'm not sure if I have a description for it anywhere, but it definitely is a beautiful bag. And I apologize if um, I've misplaced the, you know, where she, you know, she found the pattern. If I do find it, I will let everybody know. But look how beautiful that is. The colors, gorgeous. And wait till you see this. This is actually spectacular. This is a mosaic blanket. Imagine the time that went into this. The pattern is by Maud Ackermans and it's called the Mix and Match Mosaic Blanket and you can find her on Etsy. Wow, look at that. Can you imagine this in real life? Thank you so, so much for sharing those makes with us. I wish I could touch and feel them, um, but this is just as good, just enjoying um, someone else's makes and 
being inspired i guess as well because i would certainly like to make a a couple of those shawls i haven't made a beanie with um and like anything but a pom-pom on it so that looks awesome and that mosaic like blanket is just next level so that was absolutely beautiful and thank you so much for sharing that with us and if anybody else would like to share their makes with us as well please send them to my email address and i will certainly share them with everybody now last but not least i would like to um send out a, hu a huge thank you to some wonderful podcasters uh, youtube channel um uh, crochet uh, makers and they produce amazing videos that I have been watching for the last year or so and enjoying each and every moment and I look forward to when they um, you know produce another video um, and these um, wonderful women were so kind to do a huge shout out for Coco and I and um, a lot of you have come across because of them. And the one thing that I want to say before I even like, you know, share who they are, and if you don't know them, I would be very surprised. But if you don't, please go across and, you know, um, watch their videos and hang out with them because they're all so amazing and so talented. The thing that um, has really humbled me the most I think and really made me feel the love and joy that I have for this community and for crochet is so real that nobody's afraid to share the love or share the kindness nobody's afraid that they're giving away their power or you know their subscribers or their viewing hours because they share someone else's channel so that has been so wonderful and that is something that i would do as well and do do because it doesn't matter if you have one subscriber or a million subscribers i truly believe you have something to offer so i i'm very grateful for that and i will continue to support as many um, um channels as i can as i started with one and now i'm over a hundred that i watch and i await each and every one of you to post so I want to thank Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Thank you so much for the shout out. Please go and visit her. I will link all of these YouTube channels down below. And then Rose from R Rose Likes Crochet. That was amazing, her shout out. And by the way, when I was watching that video, she was actually getting um, quite a few things ready for our market that she's doing. And she had quite a few scrunchies made as well. And I thought, oh, great, let's say you're on the right track. So that was really cool. And then there's um, Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches. Thank you for the shout out. And last but certainly not least is Dina from Dina's Homespun Fun. Um, when I watch any and all of these um, YouTubers, I feel like I'm visiting with a friend. So I hope that, you know, you get that feeling when you, you know, share your time with me as well, which I very much appreciate. Um, so once again, please go and have a look at them because they are wonderful and I really do appreciate them as well. On that note, I just wanted to thank all of you that have come across to Coco and I it has been amazing and we cannot believe how lucky we are um you have brought us so much joy and we can't be more grateful than what we already are so let's continue this crochet journey together um please share anything any comment with me anything you'd like to see um anything you think i might need to tweak I have got a girlfriend who said to me, Lisa, we need to work on the yarn background. And I said, I know, I really should do a makeover video. So maybe that will be something that's coming up if I know how to do it. Let's work it out. Otherwise, I am going to be changing the back because, as I said in my very first um, podcast, it does need to be rearranged because I've been pulling things and trying to keep up with um, all my makes and, you know, that's why it's gotten a little bit shabby. So, Wendy, I've heard you and I appreciate your love because I know you said it from your heart because you want everything to look spectacular. So, thank you so much. Now, I will um, say good night or good morning or good day to all of you, whatever time you're watching. Remember to always lead with kindness. I hope that you're all well and keep crocheting and we shall see you again in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.